Hey everyone and welcome back to Melbourne Railway Videos. I'm here at Malvern on a Saturday evening. And we've got a Williamstown service departing. You can really get a sense of the curvature of the platforms. So let's have a look around Malvern Station. And the first thing to note is that it's a bit dilapidated. And why do I say that? Well, they don't have the proper tactiles. Most of them have just sort of fallen away. It's just a single old fashioned yellow line. The other thing is that there's this temporary fencing up on the left hand side. Um, I think it's actually because the, the wall that's behind it is sort of crumbling. Um, and they just haven't bothered to fix it. I think I read an article by Daniel Bowen that this problem's been there for a few years and nothing's really been done. So, <laughs> it's, it's not great. Maybe, well, I really hope they fix it soon because it's not great to just have permanent temporary fencing. They've got quite an old looking PSO building here. I'm not sure if it was designed to look old or whether this building was there before it got converted into a PSO building. Of course all these PSO buildings popped up about 10 years ago under the, I think it was the Napfine government. Alright, we've got a comment coming in. M for a Frankston service. And 679, sorry, 676 M. Stop next to Caulfield, followed by Glen Huntley. So this is the other interesting thing about Malvern Station. You actually get trains running to Pakenham and Cranbourne actually stop here, which is a strange quirk of the network. I think it's done to ease the burden on Caulfield Station, which can get very busy and isn't actually that well designed for interchanging. But you can see both of these trains stopping here. Now trains don't always stop here on these lines. I'd like someone to let me know who's a bit more familiar with the timetable at which times the trains just run express through here on the Pakenham and Cranbourne lines. But it's a Saturday today and yeah, they seem to be stopping. Also, there's this temporary structure above the um, entrance, or not really the entrance, the pathway which comes into the station because of the construction of these large apartment blocks or complexes, which I'm a big fan of. We need a lot more of these across Melbourne to beat the housing crisis. Got a beeline coming through, velocity. And this is what you come out to when you 
get off at Malvern Station, a nice little suburban shopping area. The platforms aren't that far below ground level, which is good. Seems like it's quite a well used station, which it should be with so many services. I mean, there's a train every few minutes, really, even on a weekend. Look at this. It's brilliant. Gonna head down to the main island platform. It's a nice old style station, Malvern. Although it needs a new lick of paint and for them to do the essential maintenance works on platform one. Seven hundred and sixty one M. And seven hundred and ten M. As it departs again, note the lack of tactiles on the island platform on this side. Just a solid yellow line. And you can see this even on this side. In fact, on all the platforms. They're all just sort of fallen away. Which is really poor. I need to fix that up. Got a... I think it's an East Pakenham service coming in. Could be a Cranbourne service. It's a Dandenong service. I wonder why it's not going the whole way. Oh, very strange. And this is my train coming in now. Flinders Street service. If it's even going to stop, it's coming in pretty quickly. Anyway, I should give Malvern its rating. Like, it's a beautiful old station, but I, I'm going to be really harsh on it and give it a four. Because I just really think that they need to upgrade it and fix the tactiles, fix up this issue with the fence, the temporary fence, and sort of give it a new look of paint because, yeah, it's not really acceptable. Um, but it'll be lovely when it's fixed up, if it's fixed up. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.